Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Japanese government, I express my sincere congratulations for convening the third Arctic uh, Circle. Uh, I would like to pay my highest respect to His Excellency Mr. Grimson, President of Iceland, and His Excellency uh, Mr. Christ, the former Prime Minister of Greenland, and uh, those all engaged in this uh, forum for your effort in bringing all of us here. Today is a special day for Japan's Arctic policy. I may even say today is the most important day ever. Why I say that? Because just six hours ago, in Tokyo, Prime Minister Abe and all the cabinet ministers adopted a comprehensive Arctic policy. For the first time in history, the Arctic Circle marks the first venue ever where we present our newly adapted policy to international audiences. So although that the title of my presentation is that uh, uh, Japan determination towards Arctic, I would like to change the title from that to Japan's new Arctic policy. I would proudly say that today marks a watershed moment for the future of Japan's Arctic policy, which I will elaborate on later in my statement. Ladies and gentlemen, as all of you, the Arctic presents the international community with economic challenges and urgent, economic opportunities and urgent challenges. In particular, challenges relating climate change in the Arctic are ex extremely serious in the sense that they could impact not only in the Arctic region, but also the entire global environment. This recognition is the basis of our action towards the Arctic. In 2013, two years ago, Japan released basic policy for ocean policy, in which Japan identifies addressing article issues as one of its priority with an assignment saying comprehensive and strategic actions should be promoted. Today, government of Japan has completed this task. Our newly adapted policy embodies comprehensive and strategic measures to address the Arctic issues. Let me give you an overview of our new Arctic policy. Japan newly adopted Arctic policy settles on taking actions on the Arctic strategically and, uh, uh, and cross-sectional perspectives. Through these actions, Japan seeks to contribute to the international communities as a main player to address Arctic issues. Taking these objectives into account, Japan defines the uh, following seven policies. One, free utilizing science and technology in global scale. Two, free considering vulnerability and low resilience of the environment and ecosystem in the Arctic. Three, promoting international cooperation on the basis of the rule of law, peace, and order. Four, respecting the traditional economic and social foundation of indig in indig indigenous people. Five, paying full attention to the security environment in the Arctic. Six, adapting to the impact of, of climate and environmental changes, both economically and socially. Seven, pursuing economic possibility like the Arctic Sea Route 
and resource development. Based on these basic policies, Japan spells out specific initiatives be taken. First, the first is the research and development. While Arctic climate changes has, be change, has become a common global issue, there still remain many unknowns. Japan strives to ex examine what is going on in the Arctic and its impact on the global environment through projects like Arctic Challenge for Sustainability, one of Japan's research initiatives. This uh, initiative, under the title of Arctic Challenge for Sustainability, will be at, uh, explained uh, with details uh, at that uh, breakout session, uh, which starts at 3.30 today. Moreover, Japan plans to establish education and research centers at home and abroad. Japan will connect individual research centers together as a network, preparing cross-cutting action. The second is international cooperation. Japan has various interests connecting the Arctic, such as climate change, sea route, and resource development. Japan will engage in constructive discussions such as international decision making and rule making on the Arctic, particularly with its scientific expertise. Besides, Japan will strengthen its contribution to the Arctic Council by dispatching even more experts to the Council. This action will be underscore the point that expanding the role of observers is vital for the future of the AC. I will touch upon this point again later. On top of that, as prerequisite for addressing Arctic issues, the rule of law should be ensured. From this perspective, Japan welcomes the maritime delimination issues in the Arctic have been settled peacefully in accordance with the international law. The third is sustainable use. In order to realize the utilization of the Arctic sea route by Japanese shipping companies, Japan calls, the establish, calls for the establishment of a navigation system to help ships traveling through the Arctic. Japan will also take actions to enhance Japanese economic activities in the Arctic, especially in the area of exploitation of natural resources. In the development of marine living resources, Japan will work with other, other countries to make a framework of preservation towards sustainable use. The international community must join together to share common recognition on the Arctic's potential possibilities and vulnerability. Japan is committed to contributing even more actively to international effort to address Arctic issues through enhancing cooperation with all countries concerned. 16 October 2015 marks a new era for Japan's Arctic policy, and I am proud to be able to make this important announcement to you on this day here at the Arctic Sank. Thank you very much.